How's it, Jared? How's it? Do you want to introduce yourself and everyone in the video? Uh, you, Chad. Uh, my brother, this is Amy, and that's my dad, Sean. Your dad, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> so, Dad, what we wanted to ask you today is how did you grow your business without marketing? I mean, you've been here, you founded in the 1st of May 2000, 20 years in business, and you've grown it to this. Is it that long already? Um, I think I was very fortunate 20 years ago to be in the right place at the right time, and I think a lot of Successful business sometimes is based on a little bit of luck or somebody just is a little break in their life. So we were definitely the right place at the right time when we started. We started with a, a game that time, which is our, our first customer, which we still have till today. We've had it for 20 years. Um, and we've never ever had marketing, not for probably a good first 17 years of our business. And probably the reason for that is, is relationships. We know so many people and People deal with people and as long as you've got that demeanor and that honesty and that transparency with, within your client base and, and the people that you do business with, I think that you'll always continue to be in business and I'd like to think that as a result of our honesty and transparency is why we've maintained probably 90% of our customers, we've, we've lost a small handful of customers and it's never related around service, probably more around price because I think everybody in these day and age is quite price conscious. But um, when he started a an advertising campaign now probably the last, actively for about the last maybe this year. I think COVID's changed the lives of a lot of people I just made us think differently about our business. How do we promote? I mean, when stuff is stagnant and everything is standing still and you cannot have that relationship building thing with customers, um, it's not all via Zoom. So to take that whole personalization of meeting customers out of the picture. So it's made us think differently and got back into being able to see customers. I always believe that the proper interaction with the customer is that, that first slice of the pie. And we'll see now what impact is that in our business. And I definitely think that online, social, all that type of media and um, advertising is definitely going to be a thing of the future for our business. I mean, we, I think we do so much. I think there's a bit of a, a misinterpretation of what SVA Holdings does. They see us more as a security business. And, and that's actually not what we do. It's a small piece of what we do. But the business process automation, um, risk analytics, data, I mean, that's really the field that we're beginning to be working extensively in the whole data analytics field for the last part of seven years and successfully running with some of our customers already. So that's what we'll be pushing for 2021 moving forward.